Hello fellow crafters and paper artisans. It's Chandra with Stockton Stuff. I'm here to share um, the craft caddy that I made for sorority gift. And I saw Craft Heart, Crafty Heart are in, share hers, and I just thought it was beautiful. And so I went over to Tasha's Craft Corner and um, learned about it. And I just want to show you my rendition and a little bit of things that I did differently. Um, so I should have taken everything out, but I'm just really wanting to show you Caddy. So I made the Caddy. I did the half pockets. I did not do the boxes on, on all of them because I had some different things. And plus I wanted some stuff to show. So like on this pocket, I just packaged and... Um, and put it you know inside what I was giving and um, then I just made a vellum pouch and this this pouch is all jewelry so I did my rosette with some bling like jewels that I got at I had it in my stash but they came from Joann's I had these um, these are actually like lapel pins and there was four I made two craft caddies and so I decided to use these instead of um, well full disclosure I always have to remember how to use my button snap and I just was like over it and then I figured this is some a way to get something out of my stash I made the band the strap or the handle a little wider because I had bought this ribbon on Etsy and I wanted to use it so I cut this wider and folded it inside and then I taped down some washi tape on the inside of the handle and then I did do some of the um, the side fold boxes and I did a top fold box and um, I loved how Crafty Heart Ariane had her little pearl there and I had these heart um, out of frame heart pearls and so I decided to use that and then um, um, I had my little gift inside and then um, this was a pin light, and so I just did a um, pillow box. I just, you know, did a longer one. And then I did not um, box this. I just put it in a clear bag. And then Scrap Chick had, had some jewelry boxes, some different ones. And so I used the earring box, and um, I did vellum in the window. And it fit, so I just decided to use this one instead. And so that's my box. Um, and you know, she uh, Tasha shows you how much you can get inside. So I made a shirt with um, vinyl on my Cricut. I did an easel, and I filled it with some notepads and stuff. And then I also did a chip bag, and I won't show it because it's got people's pictures on it, but here I'll do this. I did a chip bag and with their picture, and um, and then, um, you know, I just kind of customized it, put Michigan stuff on the back, and um, so just wanted to show you that you can get quite a bit in here, and um I also had some other stuff that I made, um, and I will, you know, I'll share one one of the things I did, and I don't have the name with me, but I will put it in the um, this in the description box. I'll link the video, and I will also um, when I edit this, I'll try to remember to put put her name at the top. But she did something she called a diva fan, and I thought it was just the cutest. And um, so I didn't do a diva lady on mine, but I did um, do, you know, some AKA, uh, AKA thing. I just, um, this was done on my Cricut. Um, there's lots of steps to it, but watch her video. It's perfect. And then I did a poem on the back. And so I just thought it came out cute. This is one I, it's not finished. I did put some bling on on the ones that I did finish, I just grabbed one because I made one for myself and my sister-in-law and I just haven't blinged those out yet. So um, I just wanted to share that real quick. I'll get this video up after I get everything. 
and um, I just I'll go back around because I didn't show what what I did on the pockets so I used some scrapbook paper and then I just um, put some different embellishments and things there so uh, there we go and those those were in my stash because I had made those a while back for some another project and I had a couple left and then um, this was a gifted to me in a swap or either 24 days of Christmas one of those and then um, the rosette was but I I tried my hand at the tissue paper rosettes and I like how they came out I did some in green and pink but I don't think I used the pink ones this time 